Hi everyone. Today we're at Pigs and I have a pig right here nudging me. I'm the only one right now in the pig area. Come here. You want to come and say hi? So today I'm in Potbelly Pigs. A lot of people, come here. A lot of people, come on. Hi, beautiful. Hi. A lot of people will buy teacup pigs thinking that they're going to stay really tiny. Yeah. And they don't. They get very big. But the thing about potbelly pigs is they're really smart animals and you can teach them tricks. They're smarter than dogs. They're very compassionate and affectionate. They also can be a little stubborn if they don't want to do what you're telling them to do. They tend to do best on a vegetarian diet. So here they feed them romaine lettuce organic salads. They um, also eat pig pellets which have some of the vitamins and nutrition also that they need. They grunt to communicate. So you will hear them grunting and they will be feeding them soon um, and they will go crazy because they love dinner time or breakfast time in this case. So it's a beautiful morning here in Kanab, Utah at Best Friends Animal Sanctuary and I'm Jennifer Andrews. I'm the youth outreach specialist so I've been doing a lot of videos doing art, yoga, and reading for people all over to get a little glimpse of Best Friends Animal Sanctuary. Since everybody's been in quarantine, we haven't had as many, we haven't had visitors, so it's been a little bit lonely for these guys. So we've been giving them lots of extra love. Potbelly pigs also love, hi, they also love belly rubs. Come here, oop. They also love belly rubs. And they like tipping the camera. What do you think about that? Yeah, so I got one right here. Let me show you. Two together, hey buddy. Okay, so uh, what else can I tell you about pot belly pigs? They are very, very clean animals. And I know most of you probably think about them as rolling in the mud. We do have them roll in the mud and it's because their skin is so sensitive right your skin is so sensitive as you can see they don't have very much hair they just have a little bit of hair so their skin is exposed and they can get sunburned so it's really important if you have pigs that they have shade and that they have a mud hole that they can roll around in and that mud will protect them from the sun yes they also use their snouts for foraging so they love running around in the in the ground and if we take them on walks they do take them on individual walks they will um, they will throw food ahead of them on the trail so that they can forage because that's something they do in the wild so we want to do that for them uh, the other thing is um, they're Vietnamese potbelly pigs so the heat they definitely need shade for the heat, but they're not really used to the cold. So I'm going to turn the camera and show you that we have little houses for all of them with piggy doors. So there's one right there. And if I see how they go back and then those, these things right here have water in them. And then they also fill some, some some holes here in this dirt so that they can play in the dirt and they can roll around in the mud. Um, so those those cabins that they have are air conditioned and they're heated so they like to do um, if they get too hot out here they can go in there in the AC and then in the winter they can go in there in the heat and warm up and sleep in there. Yeah. They're all waiting right now for their um, for their breakfast to come. So let's go ahead and try to get a sketch of these guys. If you guys have pencil and paper, that would be great. If you could get some pencil and paper out. 
They like sniffing. They're very curious. They, um, they really tend to um, get along pretty well with the domestic animals. There's a lady in town that has um, a potbelly pig and three dogs and a cat. And they all live inside. Since they are very clean animals, if you keep them inside, um, they, don't need to, they don't need to roll around in the mud to protect their skin because they're inside, right? Yeah. So, I got one right here. You'll see him walking right across. See his hair is kind of prickly. So let's go ahead and get our pen or pencil out and start with, let's start with their nose. And their nose is kind of a round shape with two holes. Just like that. You guys want to draw that? I'm going to go ahead and move this down a bit. Okay, so I lowered it a little bit so you can see this little guy here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He likes the belly rubs. Oh yeah. I mean, come on, who doesn't like a good belly rub? Right? I'm all right. And how about a cheek rub? And the softest part is right behind their ears. Yeah, just a good baby. It's a good baby. So we will go ahead and make a sketch with this guy right here. Let's see. So their eyes are very small. So they rely a lot on their sense of smell and their sense of hearing because they cannot see very well. So for their eyes, we're just going to do two little dots like that. Good. They also have, they also have um, teeth that come out that they have to shave down. Yeah. Like tusks that they have to shave down so that um, they don't overgrow. Okay, let's go ahead. So they also have, if you look at their face, they have really big cheeks. Yes, don't you have big cheeks right there. So let's go ahead and do a couple like cheeks like this, like three. Put the number three forwards and backwards. Good. They are all patiently waiting on their mats. Look at this. They're all waiting. They're all waiting for their breakfast. Okay, so we'll try to get their cute little faces drawn before it gets too late. Okay, so we have those threes. Let's go ahead and do big C's on either side with a little, a little U. <laughs> there we go. Are you gonna show them your cute face? Huh? Look, right here is the softest part on these guys. Are they so cute? Love them. Mm -hmm. I wanna take one home and foster them but I'm not allowed to because of the rules that we have in our neighborhood in the city here. Yeah. So that's another thing. If you were gonna adopt a pig, you would definitely need to check with your city to see if it's even allowed. Occasionally we've had really loved potbelly pigs that cannot stay in their home anymore because the um, city has changed the rules. Oh yeah, there we go. The city has changed the rules had to get rid of their pigs. So that can be really, really hard. All right, so as we pet this guy here. Hi, you're getting hungry, I hear you. Let's do two, two ears. Like that. Oh, you guys are gonna eat so soon. I know it. 
Okay. And then on their forehead, I think their forehead's going to be just one big lump like that. One big lump. I don't think they have any divots in their head at all. Yeah, can you come and look this way? Huh? Can I see your cute face? Hmm? One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to put your hand underneath their snout because they might think you're trying to give them food. Yeah, so you want to stay away from their mouths, but they love ear rubs and tummy rubs. Yeah. Oh, they're starting to hear. They're starting to hear. Let's go. They're starting to hear the food band. Come. so excited. Oh goodness. Here they come. It's dinner time. Look at this pretty one right here. Hi. There we go. I wish I got that excited over romaine salad. No, come on in. Do your thing. So Janine is here. She's one of our life-saving specialists and she is delivering their salads. I thought my cats were bad in the morning. These guys, these guys definitely make a lot more noise. Hi everyone, welcome back to the art studio. I have the picture we did in pigs and it was a very rough sketch. So if you guys want, um, I will add a little to it while we're here. Hi everyone, welcome back to the art studio. I have the picture we did in pigs and it was a very rough sketch. So if you guys want, um, I will add a little to it while we're here. Get a pencil real quick. Okay, so if we could add a few more things like some bumps right over their eyes would be good. Then they tend to have a wrinkle right here. A few little dots. Can kind of add a mouth a little bit, hint of a mouth. Maybe a little bit more wrinkles in here. Let's bring their ear up so they have an opening here. And we can do the same thing on this side, just not quite as big. We'll do it a little smaller. And we got the top of their head. And then let's just bring back like this their bodies. Probably seems a little weird now, but once we start painting, you'll totally see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take a minute and sketch this over on my canvas. I'm using just a recycled canvas. It's got a pink background, so I'm going to use that. If you want to wait one minute. Okay, now I have the sketch on my canvas. Let's go ahead and get some colors. Let's get white and gray. If you don't have a gray, you can mix black and white together. 
And then I got a light, light blue and a purple. So if you have those colors, you can even, I'm going to grab the darker blue too. Just a regular, regular blue. And we'll go ahead and put a, some of that on our palette. And remember, whenever we mix, we want to mix in a different area. You don't want to mix your um, initial piles of paint here. Mix them in a separate area, and that way you don't waste a lot of paint. I hate wasting paint. So let's try that. So we have gray, white, light blue, purple, and dark blue. So to start with, let's go ahead and maybe get a little bit of white on our brush. Let me see. Kind of a medium brush. Let's get a little bit of white and let's use a little bit of purple. So a little bit of white and a little bit of purple. We want to go kind of give it just the background color. the cheeks and if you can leave if you can leave the lines there so at least you remember where they are when we come back with a darker color see how I left kind of a space there and you don't have to do it I'm not gonna do this one um, really clean I'm just gonna use kind of big brush strokes to get the the paint on. Actually this one, we'll go ahead and close that one off because it was turned out. And then let's go ahead and get the paint around the edge and under the chin here. And then let's see, up on the top, over the nose. A little more purple. My purple's very watery. Okay. And then let's do a light purple kind of above the eyes. We can always go back over. And let's see, a little bit darker up here. Uh, let's see, right under the eyes. Okay, so we've got the face background kind of done here. Let's go ahead and grab Let's grab the blue, like the dark blue. So take a brush, maybe about, let's see, ooh, this one, maybe about this big, and grab the dark blue, and let's come in here and do inside the ear on this side. And let's go ahead and take a little bit more and do a little bit on the lower part of that ear because that side would probably be a little darker and then let's go ahead and add a little blue here and that wrinkle and as well we're going to do the wrinkle between the eyes then we're going to do the wrinkles here on the side and let's do those just about halfway, halfway down. And then bring it out like this. Kind of 
curve it underneath a little bit. And then let's go ahead and do the cheek here. And one over here. And then the edge here. Good. Outline that whole edge. And then if you want to, you could take a thin line, kind of go up the ear, down. Then let's go ahead and take a little bit of the gray. And I didn't even wash my brush out. I'm going to bring it over here, a little gray blue, and I'm going to grab some white and just make a, a really light gray. And let's go ahead and do Kind of in here, the top of the ears, and over on this side, the very top here of these ears, highlighted a bit, and we'll also highlight a bit above the eyes. Right around the eyes, and then a little bit on the nose, above the nose. Then let's take that same color and do inside the nose. So we'll bring it down and around. I'm just going to go right over the nostrils because we'll come back to that. Then take a little bit of the dark blue and kind of outline the top there. back to the really light pale gray. Pale gray, let's go ahead and add a little bit here. A little highlight under the face, on the outside of this wrinkle, a little bit on the outside of this wrinkle. Cool, and maybe a little bit on the outside here. Okay, I want to keep above this pretty dark. So let's go ahead and rinse that brush. And let's go ahead and get a little more purple. And take the purple out since we, we didn't outline the body yet. Bring that purple up a little bit. angle that he's sitting he has makes him look really big but it's not quite that big so we'll take a little bit of that hair here and let's do a little bit just a little line to kind of decipher kind of where their legs might be folded okay, okay. And then let's go ahead and take, if you have light blue or you can mix, oops, sorry, you can mix some white blue. Let's go ahead and bring some light blue in here. Just get a little bit of that color around. And if it mixes with the purple, that's perfectly fine. Okay, a little bit more. Okay. Oh, 
And I've got the side over here, a little bit there. Closer to the head, it can be, we'll make it a little darker. So grab a little bit of the blue and mix that with that light gray. And we'll go make it a bit darker right in here. Because it would cast, this head would probably cast a shadow back there. And then over here too. And on the side, yeah. Good. Then go ahead and clean that brush out. I think we'll bring some of that light blue on top of the gray. So grab your light color and bring it across into the highlights of the grays that we have. Here, our kitty cat in the other room. Okay. There we go. And let's do a little highlight on this back ear. Be lighter on the outside, darker on the inside there. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's see what color should we do next. Let's get the straight up gray or if you had, um, if you made your own gray, do it, make it a little bit darker for the nose here. And with the nose, you can always add a little bit of white on the top. Gray on the bottom. Let's take a little bit of the blue next and kind of put a touch of a mouth right there. And then let's grab some blue Bring it down the middle of the back, as well as coming in here and darkening up some of these outside lines with right by that purple. A couple more lines there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get a little bit of black. If you have, let's see if that's dry. That is not dry. So we are definitely going to have to use some dark paint. Let's see here. Black. If you have black paint or a dark, dark blue, grab that and a really tiny brush. I'm gonna go ahead and put the eyes in. That'll make a big difference. So, you don't want them to look really mean, but if you kind of bring it up and out a little bit like that, like a slit and then fatten it up. That's kind of how their eyes are. And then bring, I would go ahead and darken this line up right here, as well as outlining their ears. And just come in the bottom of the ear and, and um, kind of go up into that blue. And when you outline it, it doesn't have to be a really straight line. You can do a couple of stroke lines. Good. 
And then here, these are pretty prominent, so you could always darken that right there. See how his face is starting to appear a little bit better. Take the paint, the dark paint again, and bring it in here. A little bit of the mouth. Kind of some under the chin. You don't have to do the whole thing, but a little bit. A little bit of black really makes it pop. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of the outline too on the, like that, on that ear. And some here, like, give it a little bit more black in here. And the nose, the nose kind of has, they kind of have a nose like that. And then if you have a tiny brush or a pen, go ahead and give it a little, a few little dots to give it some texture. And I would outline it too, just a little bit. We can come back and give the nose a highlight as well. And then maybe just a few in the in the line here. Maybe a little bit in a couple of the lines. You don't have to do all the lines back here. But just a few. Let's see. Go ahead and rinse your brush out a little bit. I'm going to leave the little tiny brush in the water and take out the medium again. So about this size. And let's go ahead and grab a little bit of white. Let's put just a touch of white here on the nose. In fact, you can smudge it a little bit with your finger. And maybe touch on the top of the lips there. This brush is actually a little bit too big. So I'm going to go back to my really tiny brush and take a little bit. Go over the spots that that I smeared too much paint across. And then take a little teeny tiny touch of white and just put a teeny tiny dot in their eyes. That makes a huge difference as you can see. Alright, let's go ahead and take either light blue or white and let's go ahead and highlight just a touch in here, a little bit here, there we go, up here. Maybe a tiny bit of white inside that ear. And a little bit here. Let's see what else can we get. I think that's pretty good. And then let's add a little bit of a shadow. Since I've got the pink background, we could mix a little bit darker pink. So if you have a red, bring a red out, mix it on the side with some white. Don't really, if you want, you could probably even mix it. Yeah, white, maybe a little tiny bit of purple. And then let's bring it down like a their head was there like on the ground when they were resting. Let's go ahead. 
ahead and just do that right where it's touching. Good. Good. Go ahead and There you go. Pretty much does it for our pot belly pig. Thank you guys.